to my math today I'm going to show you how to use angle side angle to prove that two triangles are congruent okay so we're trying to prove the triangle ABC is congruent to triangle CDA hmm so look at the order of that let's see if that kind of makes sense to you okay and we're given some specific information we're told that AB so side AB is parallel that double line means parallel to CD so these two sides are parallel and notice that markings already on there those little arrows mean they're parallel we have BC this top side and DA this bottom side they're also parallel and notice we've got the arrows signifying that those two are parallel and we have to somehow get to these two triangles being congruent well in order to prove two triangles are congruent we need three corresponding parts so let's go ahead and draw out our information and write in what we know okay what we know is we are given that AB is parallel to CD and we're given that BC is parallel to DA well over here we're going to give a reason as to why so here's our statements on this side what do we know and then our reasons how do we know it well how do we know those are parallel well that was given to us wasn't it so that one's pretty easy we're just we're given that information now from that information what can we conclude well when you have parallel lines I always say look for the Z okay if I draw from B to A through this line to here I see a kind of a backward Z and in that backward Z we have these tucked in angles those are alternate interior angles knowing that we have a B and C D are transversals so I can now say that angle B A C angle B A C is congruent to angle D C A D C A how do I know that because of alternate interior angles given that we had given we had parallel lines or parallel sides okay when we have parallel sides we can say alternate interior angles are congruent well we're going to use BC and DA to do the same thing but this time I'm going to draw it in a different color so you can see it okay if I draw this way you can actually see a Z okay in red right there and this this Z right here gives me these two tucked in angles and they're going to be congruent because they're alternate interior angles so my third step is going to be angle BCA angle BCA is going to be congruent to DAC angle DAC and how do we know that well we have alternate interior angles that are congruent given we have parallel sides okay so that gives us ooh, one two congruent parts we need a third congruent part to say the triangles are congruent well notice that these two triangles share the side AC so I'm going to go down here and I'm going to write AC is congruent to CA okay it's congruent this way and this way they're congruent to each other because um, those two whoops I renumbered this wrong um, because that is a reflexive property we know anything is congruent to itself okay so that's the reflexive property of congruency and so that gives us a third part so we can see in one triangle we have a, an angle and then an included side and then another angle so we know the triangles are congruent because we have the three parts we have the um, angle side angle where the sides included between the congruent angles so I can go up here and take my proof statement and put it down here at the bottom so you always want to end with your proof statement ABC is congruent to triangle CDA how do we know that well we've got the three corresponding parts and we use the angle side angle postulate and that's how you prove it so there you go that's how you do an angle side angle proof